everybody, the mid-season finale of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. And if you missed anything this season, catch up on all the storylines with the ABC Watch app. And you can see my next guest who's sitting to my right on this show. Uh, he is Matthew Willick, 14 years in the National Football League after a stellar career at USC. Joining me here on The Rich Eisen Show in the midst of a burgeoning acting career. Good to see you, sir. Burgeoning? I have to look that up. Well, I went to Michigan. I hope it's good. I went to Michigan. So yeah, I can tell on, on the wall in the green room. Now, I, I covered the Michigan Wolverines uh, as a student my last year before graduating, and I was at the Rose Bowl in 1990, capping Ooh. the 89 season, Are you still where crying? the USC Trojans beat Michigan, uh, my Michigan Wolverines in Bo Schembechler's final game of his legendary career, and you were on the field for the Trojans. I was, day. yeah, what a great, you know, that was our third trip in a row mm -hmm. to the Rose Bowl, so it was kind of nice after failing a couple times to Michigan State yep. uh, to get back and, and, and uh, spoil Bo's uh, Final game. Now, I remember sitting in the press box wondering how many number 55s were on the field for USC because there was one in particular, sideline to sideline, was everywhere. I think Junior Seau had 20 tackles in that game. What that an amazing, yeah, I mean, what an you know, we were roommates. Did not know we that. We were roommates uh, first year of college, which was a treat. <laughs> As uh -oh. you can imagine, These Junior. Are the stories? Well, you know, look. God rest his soul. Junior was a great guy, but uh, he was an excitable person, to mm -hmm. be uh, honest. And you never knew what side of the bed he was going to wake up on. Really? <laughs> yeah. He was an uh, ex he was a uh, excitable how? Just it, would... You know, he was he was still a kid. Mm -hmm. He was on uh, he was a prop forty eight guy the first year, so he didn't really play, and so he was all over the place. And he's just energy abound. You know, the guy was never sitting around. Well, one of your teammates from the Rams, yes. uh, when you won the Super Bowl that year, I work with every single week, and Marshall Falk named yesterday on game day morning, we had a conversation about the most feared player he ever faced against. He said Junior Seau was the one that he would be I'm most sure, concerned about. Well, I'm sure a lot of guys say that. Junior was a, an amazing player. You talk about a guy who did it for so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys can do it for five, ten years. Sure. But to do it for that long and to be as uh, ferocious as he was, Pretty amazing. Yeah, Matthew Willig is here on the Rich Eisen Show. Catch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. again on the ABC Watch app. If you've missed anything, the midseason finale is tomorrow night at 9 Eastern time on ABC. You've also, you're also in the upcoming movie, Concussion. You were in the comedy, We're the Millers, playing the one-eyed Mexican drug lord. How did you get into this acting thing, <sighs> Matthew? You know, From 14 years in the NFL. You need to have a job after you're done in the NFL. Mm-hmm. I started hosting radio and TV shows when I was in the NFL, you know, kind of got comfortable being in front of the camera and uh, just got with an agent who was dealing with a lot of ex-athletes. Mm -hmm. Started booking commercials right away. My first commercial was a, a Campbell's Soup mm -hmm. with Terrell Davis and, uh, and Kurt Warner. And uh, so I did that until I retired and then just said, you know, broadcasting right. or acting? And I went the acting route. And so far, it's, you know, it's a long ladder to climb, let's sure. be honest. But um, I'm, uh, you know, with concussion and a few other things, I'm kind of slowly climbing up the ladder. Well, yeah, you certainly are. And then again, this this show on ABC, I it's, mean, everything with Marvel is is on fire. It's right been now. great. Yeah, it really has. It's been a treat to kind of, like, we talked about getting into all that kind of makeup. But once I'm in it, to be able to walk on and the show is just, like I said, it's hitting its stride. Right. So it's really kind of fun to be a part of it. Everyone on set has been just amazing. Now, we have Mariucci on every single Monday. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry it's, about your that. Former, your, your former <laughs> coach from the San Francisco 49ers, okay? He is uh, on here every Monday, and I tried to get him to stick around to call in while you were here. He had but to go. He had to go do something? Yeah, well, he had something. to, uh, I think, a bocce thing or something He's, up there. So, something to go with He's a big bocce guy. He's a huge well, yeah, bocce guy. We had bocce he ball is. tournaments up in uh, San Francisco when he was there. But we had him tape a question for you before. I'm a little nervous. Before he left. Here, here's what Steve Mariucci wanted to ask one of his former players, oh boy. Matthew Willick. Okay, hey, listen, Willick. Sorry I can't be there, but you know what? I got a question for you. I know, like, I'm your 12th favorite coach and all that stuff, but I got to tell you, I, you know, Garrison Hurst and Jerry and Steve, you know, they were, we were close and all that, but I will tell you that your crazy offensive line was my favorite, all right? They're like teacher's pets. And you know you were crazy. You got, you had, well, you, you had Newberry. He was just right up there with you. How about Kevin Gogan? He was like the dirtiest man in football, right? He had the Sports Illustrated cover. And you had Derek Deese, who was like off his rocker. And you had Dave Fiore, who was flipping off Marty Morningwig in the game against Pittsburgh. So tell Rich 
how crazy your bunch was, the offensive line, and you were the spoon that stirred the drink. Tell wow. Him. That's that's high praise. It really is. <laughs> so were you the spoon that stirred that crazy drink? <laughs> I was a, a spoon. It's look, we I like to have fun. It's probably mm -hmm. why I played for so many teams. After a couple of years, I pissed off every coach, so they just sort of <laughs> set me on my way. Um, right. But look, it's it's you know it's a grind, as you know, and and uh, so I like to have fun. And okay. so the locker rooms were a place to kind of uh, let that go, and I was definitely one of the pranksters. Now this is what it. Matt, here's a story that I want you to tell. I don't know. Kevin Barlow, running back, San Francisco 49. I vaguely remember him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, is it true that he was a homesick guy? Okay. Was so on his phone all the time. He, he was. You know, some guys get to the NFL and they're they're ready to go. They're they're mm -hmm. they're NFL ready. Mm -hmm. Other guys get to the NFL and you can just see that sort of. I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. I, I want to play football, but I'm not sure I want this life. Mm -hmm. He was one of those kids. He's a Pittsburgh kid all the he way out there. He was all the way, yeah. He was far away Francisco. from home. And so every chance he got, he was on his phone. Mm. I mean, nonstop. To the point where he would have it in his meet, the meeting rooms. And it became an issue. So me and, and a buddy, Ben Lynch, another uh, nutball in, in the group, mm. uh, decided that we needed to do something about it. So what'd you do about it? Well, <laughs> as you know, my, my, most hijinks involve yep. bodily parts of yes. that we shouldn't mention. But okay. um, I decided that if he was going to be on his phone all the time, that he needed to learn like, the hard think way. Think twice about it. So okay. I took the phone and I put it somewhere that the sun does doesn't not smell so <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then yeah, and kept it. And boy, he cried like a little fifth grader. He went straight to Mooch, like yeah. like like a you know like a little school kid would, and said, "They took my phone, and I think they stuck it up their butt, and I don't know." What to... <laughs> <laughs> and so Mooch, just like he did right there, Mooch came came Willie, really, you, you can't be taking phones away. You got to get the you know. So practice ended, and we gave him the phone. Now you would think, yes, <laughs> that someone. Even the hint of someone taking your phone and sticking it in a place they shouldn't be, you think twice. <laughs> and about five minutes post practice, he's on his phone like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work. Kevin didn't last very long. Uh, <laughs> and I love you, Kevin, wherever you're at. And, and uh, you provided us with a great. Laugh, oh but my gosh, that's he, one of the greatest stories of all time. <laughs> the shocked look, by the way, on some of the faces I'm seeing out yeah, right here right. on the Rich Eisen show and floor. I didn't, even, I didn't even tell the best one. So, which is, what's the best one? Well, let's just say this: Justin Timberlake and uh, Andy Sandberg owe me for their in a box thing. What do you mean? Well, should I have time to tell it? Just sure. Oh, yeah. Real quick. <laughs> so again, it's we're we're a little bored. We had a game coming up that was Which turf. team was this, 49ers? Just 49ers. Okay. We had a game coming up that was going to be on turf. It might have been raining. I kind of forget the details of that. You know, I may have a few concussions myself. Um, we decided that we were going to go ask uh, our trainer, Lindsay, uh, whether or not a certain pair of shoes were good for the turf. Why we would ask him, the trainer, we have no idea. But um, somebody suggested that I take, again, talking about... <laughs> male body parts, that I should take a certain body part and put it in a box. <laughs> and so this got around. Before yeah. we knew it, it was like, you have to do this, you have to do okay. this. And uh, so as the, the team gathered in the, in, in the uh, training room for absolutely no reason, and he didn't notice it, I walked in and said, hey, Lindsay, with the box covered, I said, is, is, is this the right set of shoes for this game? <laughs> and, and if you know this guy, he's a pretty shy gentleman. And he looked down and he went, I don't think those are good. <laughs> and, and, the team, and, the team, and the team busted out laughing. So it was that kind of fun that we had. I love stories like and this. And by the way, Mooch, you are my favorite uh, coach of all time. Is that so. right? Oh, he, absolutely. He is? He is. Came, in, came, in, came at a point in my career where I, uh, I needed a coach like him. I was, an, at that point, I think, nine-year veteran. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know, the 49ers are known for kind of treating their veterans pretty well. And yeah. At least back in the day they were. Um, and he did. And he, and he was right. He loved the O-line. He loved us. And, and um, He's one of my favorite people I've ever met, by the way. He just, he's so genuine. And he was, he was the, he's that Pete Carroll mode of knowing how to talk mm -hmm. to his players, yet being enough of an authoritarian to kind of get the job done. And those are rare. Well, congrats on making the transition to, the, to another career that you're doing so well in. Uh, again, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. midseason finale tomorrow night uh, on uh, ABC at 9 Eastern. The whole uh, season can be checked out on the ABC Watch app. Uh, you've got concussion coming out later this month and everything that's going on for your career. Please come back. Okay? Rich, I hope you have me back. Thank you, Brian. I would love it. Thanks. Thanks. Matthew Willig is right here on The Rich Eisen Show. I am now taking my cell phone and removing it <laughs> from the desk. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.